सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंदम भक्तबिंद समित श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर पांचाकुवश के पास विवच पतितान पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकोतिचाल पंगुंगल हैतिगिरी यत्की पातम हंग बंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्ति पद देवी नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुण चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम वेत्ताहम पुनदीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणरबिंद यदपल्लवनखचंदमि छटाय विस्फुजीत किमी गोधुष्वदर्शि पूर्णागरस सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद सियादगदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद सियादगदाधर शिवसदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बदात संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबर द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंद दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान्ूपेन सदा नरा गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तो बाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथ वागी सजुष वदने लक्ष्मीर्जस् बक्षसी जैसे हृदय संबी सिंहमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अनर्पित चरिंग चिरात करुणा अवतीर्ण कलु समर्पयत उन्नत उज्जवल रसाम सभक्ति श्रियम हरि ही पुरट सुंदर दि कदम्ब संदीपित सदा हृदय कंदर स्फुरत बिष चिनंदन अनर्पित चरिंग चिरात करुणय अवतीर्ण कलो समर्पयत उन्नत उज्जवल रसाम सभक्ति श्याम हरि पुरट सुंदर दि कदम्ब संदीपित सदा हृदय कंदर स्फुरत बिष चिनंदन गौरिय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट इन द होल ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री इन द होल ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री सच काइंड ऑफ बेनेडिक्शन कृपा इनकॉन्सिबल इवन पीपल कुड नॉट इमेजिन इन ड्रीम दैट दिस कैन कम गौरिय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दैट दैट इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग इवन इन ड्रीम नो बॉडी नेवर कुड इमेजिन दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव कीपा कैन कम एज अ रेन राइट रेन कमिंग रेन Never try to show any discrepancy. Rain always giving same way. According to your pot, you are getting rain water. You cannot blame to rain. You cannot blame to cloud. You are not giving me water, whereas you are giving so much water there. You have no right because it depends upon your pot. what do you mean by pot pot mean according to a previous 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 infinite life you are rolling actually you are rolling down for infinity period you are rolling down in different species different zones no solution this way you are developing some sanskar and sanskar depend upon your association bhakti mohan tagu writing bhakti mohan tagu writing clearly bhakti mohan tagu writing clearly bhakti mohan tagu writing clearly actually according to your association actually according to your association you are develop you are changing your sanskar previous previous like whatever association you done i don't know but your sanskar can speak that your mood is dirty or very fresh nice it can speak character can speak so according to your association you are developing sanskar so who knows what kind of sanskar is there inside you and me nobody knows this way actually we are rolling down infinite period for infinite period morning time i was speaking we are inside prison we cannot realize we cannot realize we cannot realize this point we are inside prison but we cannot realize we are inside prison we are feeling comfortable now this kind of avatar golden avatar sri chaitanya mahaprabhu said here you know actually that after long long gaping chaitanya mahaprabhu one time came in a whole day of brahma one time brahma coming a uh, one time krishna coming and uh, particularly when krishna coming after krishna gone gorango coming if you can say why so why krishna gone after that clearly it is written in chaitanya charitamrita i was discussing in hindu promotion noon time 
point is that why so after krishna gone gorang mahaprabhu coming it is written clearly in chaitanya charitamrita krishna das kubiraj goswami speaking i mean that krishna after manifesting this kind of beautiful leela krishna leela i know you cannot believe because your range is very small one small boy if i go on speaking about applied physics how what you can understand one very small boy now so is so high that it is impossible to realize it is quite impossible to realize we are busy with toys you know small babies when crying very heavily then mother giving some toy a boy is playing the toy when he is disgusted with toys he started crying heavily then mother come what happens he can no cannot play now need something else then mother coming and taking him lap similarly bhagwan arranging this infinity world material world is also arranged by the maya shakti shakti parinoti this material world all is the transformation of energy shakti shakti parinoti this world the same thing i understand told na ye matter can be converted to energy energy can be converted same thing when creation is there when creation taking place na then all energy taking in the form of matter all secret this material ingredient whatever things you are saying all ingredient bhagwan not taking from outside bhagwan not collecting from outside bhagwan not collecting all ingredient from outside is from inside like one spider spider you can find making some net network na spider making some net after the after the purpose is over then going to eat up similarly nothing outside bhagwan you me or infinity world whatever whatever only you are busy with di diversified darshan due to maya only we are busy with diversified darshan he see he see this that diversified the because of maya we are busy with diversified darshan nothing else this way for infinity period bhagwan going to test us rolling down rolling down and no one like to go to bhagwan no one everybody like to stay in the material world so what bhagwan can do bhagwan arrange in so many so many arrangement shastra sadhu guru vaishnav all dama nama all different bhagwan coming down to help us but we are less interested that's why nothing to do bhagwan trying morning time was speaking bhagwan cannot apply force bhagwan cannot arrest us bhagwan cannot interfere bhagwan cannot interfere with our our liberty freedom bhagwan like to see that automatically he can feel attraction for me then come bhagwan like to feel bhagwan like to see that we are feeling attraction for bhagwan and we are approaching by the help of guru vishnu and ultimately we can reach up to the highest level of gopi prema absolute which is inconceivable even in the human history never nobody could imagine this kind of uh, benediction can come in our life that is the main thing our guru varga first of all teaching us vidhi marg our all guru varga purposely purposely they are teaching us vidhi marg vidhi marg mean how to get control over your whimsical mind first point 
all Shastra, Bhagavatam, Puran, everywhere you go. Upanishad, everywhere. First point is to get control over your whimsical attitude. First point. Sarva eva mano nigraha lakshananta. In Bhagavatam it is written, the most basic preliminary thing. Try to get control over your whimsical attitude. Try to concentrate. To speak, to pass lecture is very easy. But it is very difficult. Very difficult. But first of all, you will have to do. To start bhajan, this is the basic point. That's why our Guru Bhargava, first of all, teaching us all Bidhi Mark. Bidhi Mark, all rules and regulations, teaching us, morning time you have to get up 4 o'clock, take bath, sit for bhajan, do, don't speak. After that, after that you can do arch and everything, Bidhi Mark. Under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav, we are learning, we are learning how to get control ourselves. First of all, Bhakti Minut Thakur in Bhajan Rahasya writing, in Bhajan Rahasya, Bhakti Minut Thakur writing, Vidhi Margo Rato Jane, Shadinata Ratno Dane, Rag Marge Korai Pravesh. Bengali, you cannot understand. Bhakti Minut Thakur speaking, those who are habituated in Vidhi Marg, those who are habituated with Vidhi Marg for a long time, naturally they can feel some spontaneous response. Not that in the beginning you start bhajan, you can become great sadhu, not that. People, they are, they are less interested to follow rules and regulations. They have no patience. They cannot keep patience that it will take time. Come on, man, you will have to try your best. Then gradually by Guru Vaishnav Kipa, Sarup Shakti Kipa, Sarup Shakti Kipa can come through Guru Vaishnav. Bhakti you cannot get directly. Bhakti you cannot get directly. Bhakti always coming through Guru Vaishnav. Directly you cannot get. And you have no faith in Guru Vaishnav. That's why you are not getting bhakti, you cannot get directly. That's why it is written that sadhu sangha, sadhu sangha, sarva saste koi, lavamato sadhu sangha, sarva siddhya. So, Krishna bhakti ri janma mool hai sadhu sangha. Krishna bhakti ri janma mool. Krishna bhakti ri janma mool hai the very root cause. The very root cause, the very root cause of Krishna Bhakti, the very root cause of Krishna Bhakti is Krishna Madhuri Janmamul or Sadhu Sangha. The very root cause of Krishna Bhakti is Sadhu Sangha. But pure Sadhu Sangha, those who are already having Krishna Prema. No Prema, they are nothing, material, personality, if you can. If you can approach, you have no advantage. That's why our Keshav Goswami Maharaj used to say very often. Keshav Goswami Maharaj used to say, now, now our Param Puja Keshav Goswami Maharaj used to say, now at present situation is changed. People like to get things where it is not available. Hello. Keshav Goswami was speaking, at present people like to get Things, particularly something which is not available there. That is the craziness of common people. It is not available there. Bhakti is not there. You are unnecessarily wasting your time and energy. Bhakti is not there. Bhai, you give me bhakti, give me bhakti. Hey, you give me bhakti. A bhakti is not there. How we can give? What is not there, how we can give? That is the main point. So, Bhakti Thakur writing in Bhajan Rahasya that those who are habituated in those who are habituated in Vidimar under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav those who are habituated gradually they are habituated they feel Vidimar Gauratajane automatically you can feel some inspiration from outside 
automatically you can feel some inspiration from outside, then strict rules and regulation is not so important for you in that case. Follow. When loveful affair grown inside your heart, when you are growing loveful affair, when you are growing loveful affair with Bhagavan automatically, in that case, a strict rules and regulation not, not so important. Important, but not so important. Suppose one example. One Paramahansa Guru Vishnab is there inside temple. One Paramahansa Guru Vishnab who is absorbingly doing Harinam and feeling everything. You are going to complain that Maharaj is not going to uh, watch Aruti morning time, but you are speaking, it is a rule. You are complaining. Everybody are coming for Aruti, but that Maharaj is not coming. Eh? Then you forget. Be forget means you don't know that he is always watching Aruti through Harina. What I mean to say, repeatedly I mean to say, those who are mature devotees, those who are Paramahansa devotees, they are out of any rules and restrictions. Your restrictions is applicable for you to get control over your fanciful attitude. But this is not applicable for Siddhar Maharaj, case of Maharaj, everybody. It depends upon the stage. So, when one Paramahansa devotee is there, when one Paramahansa devotee is there, in that case, for him, particularly this limb of bhajan, Nam Sankhi, try to understand. Particularly this limb of bhajan. What is that? Shavan Kirtan, Smaran. Sixty-four different kinds of limbs are there. Out of that, Shavanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, Vishnu eh, Svaranam, eh, eh, this is important, all. This Shavan, Kitvan, Smaran. Those who are mature devotees, Paramahansa devotees, they are usually not showing any interest for other limbs of bhakti. Vishwana Chakudu are writing, they are so matured that in Nam Sankirtan they can watch everything. They are doing Harinam. Through Harinam, they can do Parikram of Govardhan, Radha Kund, Sam Kund. They can see clearly everything. They can go all temple, mentally. They can worship. They can watch different kind of Leelas. They are doing Harinam. You said they are doing Harinam, nothing doing. But through Harinam, they can go to Vrindavan here, they are watching everything. That's why Vishwana Chakoti are writing, that usually those who are mature devotees, Paramahansa devotees, for them, for them, other limbs of bhakti not so important. They are not showing so much interest. They are busy with Nam Sankirtan. And the same Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us ultimately. Ultimately, Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us. But that doesn't mean, I am also doing Sankirtan, so I am getting maturity. Not that. Actually, Chaitanya Mahapu wanted to teach us, at present, in this bonded condition, at present, in this bonded condition, our Nam Sankirtan, our Nam Sankirtan is one kind of bhajan mode. We are trying. In this stage, our, our Nam Sankirtan, we are doing. But our Nam Sankirtan can be treated as Sadhan Bhakti and not even Sadhan Bhakti when you are not in Anugatta with Gurudev. So typical, nobody can speak. Now at present, our Bhajan can be treated, treated as Sadhan Bhakti provided our duplicity is not there, 100% Saranagati under the guidance of Guru then it can be treated as sadhana bhakti. Otherwise, not even sadhana bhakti. Sadhana kriya, I told. It is like uh, you are practicing. But practice, 
How long you can do practice? When you are doing practice, at the same time you are hearing Harikatha, following Guru Vaishnava, suddenly, mane, someday, practicing your, you are practicing now, then you can step into, you can step into Sadhana Bhakti. And from this Sadhana Bhakti, your bhajan can be counted. Not before that. Your bhajan can be counted when you can, when Sarup Shakti, when Sarup Shakti can come through Guru Vaishnava and love you, bless you, affection there, Guru Vaishnava. Why? Then after enjoying this affection, causeless, after that you can feel something inside your heart because Sarup Shakti can come, Sarup Shakti can gradually come and sit inside your heart. Then you can get enjoyment. If you, are, if you are not doing parikram, you cannot feel okay. Man, your bhajan, nam bhajan, parikram, taking bath in Ganga, darshan, then give you some inspiration. You can get some inspiration, enjoyment. That's when enjoyment, when you are feeling enjoyment, then be sure, sarvashakti, sarvashakti already there inside you. Sarvashakti already there. And for mature devotees, Paramahansa devotees, their Sankirtan, for mature devotees, Paramahansa devotees, their Nam Sankirtan, their Nam Sankirtan is Shadda Vastu. Don't understand. You are also doing Nam Sankirtan, and Paramahansa Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Pumaturi, they are also doing Sankirtan. But not the same. Their Sankirtan, if you hear, there is there is some recording, you can hear. Sridhar Maharaj speaking, our Bhakti Mahapurga says, you can understand something. The old age, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 they're speaking. But after hearing, you can feel something, uh, touching your heart. That's when, when they are doing Sankirtan, that, that is itself Shadda. Mani, through Sankirtan, they are going to meet with Bhagavan. Don't understand. Through Sankirtan, Paramahansa devotees, they are constantly in touch with Bhagavan. They can see Bhagavan because they are doing Sankirtan. Through Sankirtan, Nam Sankirtan, Harinam, they are meeting with Bhagavan. That's why they don't like to leave Harinam. They like to do more and more Harinam. Why? Because they are meeting with Bhagavan. They can see. So our Harinam is one kind of practice, but their Harinam, Sankirtan, is just Shadda Vastu. I am a Shadda Vastu mean through bhajan, through, through your bhajan, the object to be attended. The object to be attended through your bhajan. By the help of it. That is called attainable object. That they are getting. Whereas our Sankirtan is confined with this material world. But it can cut, provided I say everything. Now Simon Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us. First of all, Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us that try to go out of the bondage of Maya. First teaching. Nobody wants to hear. Mahaprabhu first of all wanted to teach us, please you go out of this material conception, material bindings. Otherwise, never you can feel. This is the first teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. First, you try to go out of Maya. After that, under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, someday. We think we are out of Maya. If somebody out of Maya, we think um, out of Maya means uh, already done. No. Out of Maya means we are just, quite, we just, we, are, we can start bhajan. Out of Maya means we can just start, we can, we can bhajan. First of all, repeatedly Mahaprabhu wanted to, wanted to teach us the submission. First point. Nilachale, Gorang Mahaprabhu, if you like to hear, you can go mad. What different kind of countless bhavas continuously developing inside heart. When now Mahaprabhu, you know, feeling the bhava of Radharani, sometimes Manjari, Soki, or different kind of. Abnormal. Abnormal means exclusive, transcendental, bhava. So anyway, 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल महाप्रभु वॉन्टेड टू टीच आस अबाउट सबमिशन इफ वी आर सक्सेसफुल टू सबमिट अवर सेव देन वी कैन एन्जॉय एवरीथिंग दैट्स वाई इन शिक्षा स्टकम महाप्रभु वॉन्टेड टू टीच आस सो मेनी थिंग एक्चुअली ऑल शिक्षा स्टकम महाप्रभु रोट लॉन्ग एगो महाप्रभु रोड सिक्काष्टकम लॉन्ग एगो वाइल यू वॉज हे है नो बडी नोज महाप्रभु रोड सिक्काष्टकम हि है एंड वॉन्टेड टू गेट द टेस्ट वॉन्टेड टू टीच एज द टेस्ट ऑफ दैट श्लोका देर इन नीलाचल ऑल ही रोड इट मच बिफोर बट आफ्टर टेकिंग संन्यास गोइंग टू नीलाचल and they are practically wanted to show the inner meaning each and every shloka inner meaning wanted to exhibit wanted to rally test mahapur wanted to tell i can give one example at present we are enjoying freedom at present at present we are enjoying freedom but it is not actual freedom repeatedly i told it is one kind of one kind of trap it is one kind of trap it is not actually we are we are not enjoying freedom ah maharaj our india is liberty every we are enjoying liberty india is uh, enjoying freedom america freedom every every country is but that is not actually freedom that is that is a material conception of your freedom but actual freedom when you can get that bhakti vinod tagore already wrote in one kirtan in one kirtan bhakti munta go road in kirtan that kirtan i told na yesterday or previous day i told already one kirtan ar keno maya jale porite chho jibo mino nahi jano bodho hoye rabe tumi chiro ar keno maya jale bhakti munta go why you are going to throw yourself in the net of maya why you are going to purposely going to put yourself in the trap of maya ar keno maya jale parije jo like the fisherman they are making a network net after the fish coming are they are going to take the net and going to sell in the market or eating to bhakti mun to writing practically very easily आर कैनो माया जाले परिदेश जीव मीनो नहीं जानो यू डोंट नो यू डोंट नो यू आर गोइंग टू थ्रो योर सेल इन ट्रैप ऑफ माया यू डोंट नो वाई यू आर गोइंग टू टेक रिक्स आर कैनो माया जाले परिदेश जीव मीनो नहीं जानो बध हो रे तुम चीर अति तुच्छ भोग आसे बंदी हो माय पशे अति तुच्छ भोग आसे बंदी हो माय पशे रही विकृत भावे दंड जथा पर दया भक्ति मुठा को राइटिंग रही विकृत वाई वा फॉर फॉर चीप एंजॉयमेंट for very cheap enjoyment so cheap dirty enjoyment you are going to spoil your life why you are doing so cheap enjoyment no value not even 0.001 dollar nothing no value but still you are going to spoil your life because you are growing enjoying mood due to the illusory energy of maya फाइनल वक्त सजेस्टिंग एखो चेतन पे नाओ नाओ एट प्रेजेंट इफ यू कैन ग्रो योर कन्सियनेस ट्राई टू गेट इन कंटैक्ट उथ गुरु वैष्णव दैन इमिडिएटलि स्टील टूडे स्टील टूडे वार यू कैन डू वार यू कैन डू दे जस्ट यू कैन डू वन थिंग एखो चेतन पे कृष्ण कृपा सिंधु जले अनायसे थकु तुम्हें हुए कृष्ण प्रेमाधीन 
the very small very and you know, one or two words all clear now at present you can try to grow your consciousness level but our activity is going to help us to lose our consciousness at present all our activities going to help us to lose our consciousness consciousness level going down but bhakti mundo is speaking you try to uh, try to arrange so that your consciousness level can grow grow up when consciousness level can grow up to certain level they can you can feel that you are in the trap of maya not before that ekono cheton pe why not you why not to jump in the ocean of mercy of krishna why not you jump into the ocean of mercy of krishna ekono cheton pe krishna ke pa sindhu jale you can then feel liberty not before that i can give one example one example i can give then you can understand one example is practical example it happened in our locality long ago in my purvasram one rich man very rich man he was going to some place long distance he was going driving to some place he was he was making some shortcut through a village and a village suddenly he that old man discover one beautiful girl very nice like durga nice lady watch she is collecting water from pond and very tender is they are very soft then immediately is, is ask the driver to stop the car then is asking a village man who is that girl but that girl is the daughter of sanatan he is a, is a is a he is doing cultivation job very poor very poor very poor he is doing cultivation somehow uh, grow some uh, wheat and paddy then nothing else. then he is going to that house whose name is sanatan mama one old man was almost actually with you because they are not taking nice food na huh? that's why they they look overage do you, you go to brajwasi you can do go to vrindavan i can show you all matajis they are not even 35 40 they look like old because they are only taking dry ch chapati and gur molasej or uh, some sauce nothing else i can show you come you ask the lady what is your age ah my age is 35 35 so old 35 40 50 maximum 50 similarly that man that rich man going to approach your name is sanatan yes my name what i can do the i like to take your daughter i like to arrange marriage of your daughter with my son huh? you are joking with me you are joking with me eh? i am very poor i have nothing to give oh ho i am not joking with you i am not joking with you really i mean so i like to arrange the marriage of your daughter with my son you agree well i cannot believe in dream by yes his education is not there up to 9th class well i can arrange her education you are ready or not yeah, i am ready then the daughter i mean the son of that rich man was you know marriage arrange arrangement of marriage that daughter now my main question main question you can try to realize before marriage i mean just one hour before marriage suppose marriage going to start one hour before before marriage that girl was very poor right or not very poor penniless but after the marriage is over according to legal advice she is not poor because husband and wife enjoying the same right that that poor girl can open the almira golden ornament or and because she is wife na but one day before marriage she was penniless penniless but now according to legal advice you can safely say 
or oh, equal right, husband and wife. I mean, all property, whatever the husband having, she has the same right. Now, says same example. If I can, if I can sell myself, if I can sell myself unto the lotus feet of Krishna, then I can enjoy great privilege. I can have free access over all of Prakriti Jagat. If I can throw myself in the ocean of Kripa, of Krishna, then Krishna can give me power, then I can. I can enjoy advantage. I can have a free access anywhere I go. Like the case of Gopakumar. Gopakumar going anywhere by the mercy of Gurudev. Bhagavan love him. He is going anywhere. This way, actual liberty, the meaning the meaning, I mean the feeling of actual liberty, you can feel that day. When you can throw yourself unto a lotus feet of Krishna. I mean, when you can enjoy full kippah, total kippah of Krishna, then I can feel liberty. But at present, your li meaning liberty is not complete. At present, what you feel liberty, it is not liberty. It is one kind of bondage. And according to the a uh, material philosopher, meaning of your liberty mean, liberty mean curtailment of your own right for the sake of other soldiers so that mutual interest can be protected and final goal can be attended. As a countryman and not as a devotee. Not as a devotee, as a countryman, you can speak separately. Liberty mean curtailment of your fanciful right so that nobody can feel uh, problem for your activities. Now at present, night time, I try to take some rest. They are playing the mic, gramophone, mic, big, loud. They are, they are actually, they are, you know, that, you know, uh, what is called? Boom, boom, boma. I try to take rest because morning time I'm going to get up and but they don't care. You die, whatever. Your father die, what it concern to me? That is called our liberty. That is the meaning of liberty like me. All illiterate man. Crazy. They mean so. Liberty means we are liberty. We can do anything. Ah, my mother is a hard person. You, uh, you try to play your, you know, mic a uh, little bit. What it concerned me? Your mother die, your mother die. My, my, my sister today marriage, I can play. What you like to do, you do. This is all liberty. So liberty according to material conception, what is the meaning of liberty? Liberty means perfect meaning according to material conception. Liberty means curtailment of your own sensible right for the sake of others so that mutual interest can be protected and final goal. If you say, my son going to appear in exam tomorrow, you don't play my... No, I cannot. I can play. But in foreign country, if your dog going to bark, then your neighbors can file one case. Your dog barking is started. So why I, I couldn't take rest? But here, they don't understand the valuation of human life. They don't understand. Valuation of human life, even though they don't understand. Anyway, this is a main thing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to say. Through Sikhastakam, if you go on, gradually I can show you. So, Nilachal, main point you should hear. From tomorrow I can go on discussing everything, all in details. Actually, Bhakti Thakur wanted to say, Bhakti Thakur wanted to say, that Nilachal Dham, is the topmost place of Vipralamba Kshetra. Nilachal Dham is the topmost place of Vipralamba Kshetra. To realize the separation from Bhagavan, I mean Vipralamba, separation mood. Nilachal is the best place. Why? Because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, I can speak some introductory how Mahaprabhu took took preparation to go out of Navadip and went to, you know, he wanted to go to Vrindavan. Finally, why? Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan after taking sannyas. 
Finally, he took decision to stay in Nilachal. So, Nilachal is so important for us. Bhakti Mantra speaking, Nilachal Dham is the topmost place of Vipralamba Bhajan. Nilachal Dham is the topmost place of Vipralamba Bhajan. Vipralamba. Topmost. Topmost place of Vipralamba Bhajan. Because there Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself wanted to show. Practically, he himself is Krishna, but practically wanted to show one by one. Radha Bhav. Oh. Right from the beginning, I can go on speaking tomorrow, all in details about. So nice, actually. And it is really strange. If you think, it is really a miracle that Gorang Mahapur took birth here. Gorang Mahapur took birth here. Advent appeared here in, Nava, in Mayapur. After that, gone to Nilachal. And Popa just opposite. Popa took birth there in Nilachal, coming to Navadip. You see, miracle. Not miracle. Actually, pre-arrangement. We think miracle. Not miracle. Not miracle at all. It's a pre-arrangement. That's why in Padapuran, we find, we find, it is one sloka there. They are already written. That, Yudkale, Jhutkale, Purushottamat. In Kalikal, from Purushottam, Jagannath Khetto, Nilachal Dham, all the message of Gauranga Gorang Mahapu can spread all over the world. Really so? So, Gauranga Mahapu took appeared here and went there in Nilachal and Prabhupada took birth there in Nilachal and came here. How strange. This is the strange, actually. Very beautiful Sikhar. So, if we at all like to understand, if we at all like to understand all intricate subject matters about deeper, because Nilachal Mahaprabhu means very intricate. Very complicated means in the sense, I have no, if I have no entry into this matter, it's complicated. Otherwise, it's the easiest thing. What is saying? I told you, na, Krishna Bhajan is the most easiest thing. Yet, at the same time, Krishna Bhajan is very typical. Typical for those having no submission, no kipa, guru kipa, and Krishna Bhajan is the easiest. Your service, your job, everything what you are doing, family life, very tough. But Krishna Bhajan is the is most easiest thing. Only you will have to throw your mind onto a lot of the Krishna and do Harinam, you can see everything. All transcendental world can appear in front of you. You don't believe, na? I know you cannot believe. Someday, if you can go on doing bhajan, someday you can realize. All can appear. In course of your harinam, you can see everything. Mayapur, Vrindavan, everything. Pure devotees, they are, while they are doing harinam, na? They are, they are doing parikram. They can see everything. Jok, Pit, Chaitanya, everything they are watching. But in bonded condition, not possible. You, you can try to concern your mind here, your mind can cut, scattered, you cannot feel. But Krishna Bhajan is the easiest thing in the world. Nothing so easy like Krishna Bhajan. Nothing so easy like Krishna Bhajan. If at all we like to realize all this, you know, Nila Chale, Gauranga Mahapu, it covered a vast chapter, vast thing. First of all, we will have to go under the guidance of Sri Sri Sachidanda Bhakti Thakur. Bhakti Thakur, Prabhupada, they wanted to mean so many things they wanted to clarify. Because we cannot understand. Like Sanatan Gosai wanted to write some commentary on Gopi Gita. You heard the name of Gopi Gita, I already explained. During Corona period, Gopi Gita, all detailed discussion, introductory speech on Rasa Leela, Bastaran Leela, you know, all 
Benu Gita, all explained. Only we have to go back and hear. So, actually, uh, under the guidance of Bhakti Mani Thakur and Prabhupada, we will have to realize. Otherwise, it is impossible. So, one by one, different kind of leelas. First of all, I like to speak something, preliminary thing. It was a plan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I mean, plan mean with this plan, Mahaprabhu appeared. With this plan, Mahaprabhu already appeared. That I can stay here in Navadip for some time, do some leela. After that, I can go to Nilachal. I can go. all arrange, pre planned, Mahaprabhu. Pre planned. But devotees are more clever than Bhagavan. Devotees are more clever than Bhagavan. Devotees can understand each and every activities of Bhagavan. They can realize. Bhagavan tried to hide, but they realize. They understand. Follow. One instant I can say, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just back, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just back from Gaya after offering funeral cake to Father, in the name of Father, in from Gaya, Gaya district. Just come. After coming back, everybody watching, our Prabhu is crazy. Why? After coming back, Mahaprabhu become almost like abnormal. He cannot, only crying and you know, what happens? How, what happens to our Prabhu? Nobody knows what happened. Actually, what happened, you know? Mahaprabhu need not offer any funeral cake to Jagannath Misra. Jagannath Misra is the eternal person of God. Jagannath Misra is the eternal person of Mahaprabhu. Bhagavan. Eternal. He was Nanda Bhava. So, so, funeral cake was not so important thing. To offer funeral cake is one, one kind of, you know, one kind of drama. To offer funeral cake, in the name of Father in Gaya, Vishnu Charan, one kind of drama, very beautiful Leela. Actually, not so. And Nanda Baba, Josudama, how weak I can offer funeral cake, the eternal person. He himself told to Mother that whenever I took birth in this earth, always you came with me. I can show you. When I came in Baman Dev, in the form of then my mother, you know, Kashyap Aditi. Aditi. When you came in the form of, you know, in the form of Ramchandra, when I came, you became a, 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 a what is called? Kaushala and Dasarat. When I came in the form of Krishna, you are Vasudev Daivaki. And Dobi Daivaki, you Daivaki, and Father Jagannath Mishra. This way, always you are running with me. So, there is no disconnection with you. Always there is connection with you. So, Mahaprabhu went there in Nilachal Dham uh, to play one drama. What is there? Mahaprabhu went there offering funeral cake uh, while looking at the lotus feet of Vishnu, cannot see Vishnu lotus feet. All his tears rolling down. Like rain. Wow, rain. Cannot see the lotus feet of Vishnu. By realizing the mercy of Vishnu. There is a long history I cannot speak. After that, by chance no, it is arrangement that Mahaprabhu meeting with Ishar Puripat. Mahaprabhu himself cooking. After cooking, he is going to offer, he himself going to offer. <laughs> Mahaprabhu. He is cooking, after that going to offer to Bhagavan. After that, he is taking preparation, how to take prasad and a human lila. In the meantime, he meet with Ishar Puripat. Oh, you are there, I am lucky. To come in a pilgrimage means a success is that, when I can meet with one pure sadhu like you. So, Prabhu kohe Gwaya Jatta Shafal Amar. Prabhu speaking, my coming to Gwaya is successful because I meet with you. Mahaprabhu speaking, 
My coming to Gaya is today successful. We are going to meet with you. Mahaprabhu is going to teach us how we can feel enjoyment after watching a pure devotee. Mahaprabhu is going to take the dust particle from his lotus feet and speaking, you will have to take prasada. Eh? If I take prasada, what you can take? Oh, I can cook again. I can cook again. Oh no, I cannot take. Now you will have to take. Then Prabhu, whatever Prabhu already cooking done, is going to offer and going to give to, to Isha Puripat. After that, going to surrender unto his lotus feet, Prabhu speaking, I like to offer my body and soul, everything, unto your lotus feet. Why not you save me from the ocean of misery? Mahaprabhu in the ocean of misery. <laughs> Mahaprabhu in the ocean of misery. Ah, Prabhu going to offer, I, I like to offer my heart and soul, everything, body, everything. You please uh, rescue me from this material world. Mahaprabhu praying, teaching us. How to submit unto the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava? Ishwar Puripadure, you must know. Then after that, Ishwar Puripad giving mantra. Ishwar Puripad giving mantra. After receiving mantra, tens, ten syllable mantra, dasakkar mantra. In our Gauriya Sampadaya, there is Twelve akshar, twelve, uh, you know, uh, twelve syllable mantra, ten syllable, and eighteen. Ashtad akshakra. Three is all. Time to time, those who are, uh, what line you are coming, according to that, you can get. Follow what is saying. So, Mahaprabhu is going to submit. Eyyamish deho tomai koilu samarpan. Hey, this I body, I am going to su submit unto your lotus feet. You please rescue me from the ocean of misery. Now, Ishwar Puripath stand up. Ishwar Puripath said, okay. Your request, your order, okay. After receiving mantra, after receiving mantra, Dasakshara mantra, Gopal mantra, Krishna mantra, Prabhu gone crazy. Oh, after chant. This mantra is so powerful in Gopal Tapani, different books, I am speaking name, Gopal Tapani, etc. I can show different book. There is written that those who are getting this kind of 10 syllable Gopal mantra, Kam Gayatri, Kam Gij, immediately they can feel some sensation. Immediately, if their heart is pure from previous, no contamination. They are already pure. The submission is right. It is written, when they can get mantra, immediately they can feel some sensation. Immediately. Like our Gopakumar, when received mantra from his Gurudev, immediately feeling some reaction. Mantra is not, mantra is not only mantra. Mantra means, mantra is just equal to the, equal to, Krishna equal to Krishna. I mean the mantra going to indicate the mantra going to indicate the Devuta. Mantra going to indicate the Supreme Lord Himself. When Kam Gayatri Kambij means when you do a Kam Gayatri, you can see Aprakita Kamdev. He is playing on sweet everything very nicely, you can see. If not feeling, then your mantra taking then your mantra taking is not perfect. If you are not, if you are not feeling so, then surely your mantra taking is not perfect. Some problem must be there. If your mantra taking is perfect, your Gurudev is perfect, you are perfect, then immediately whenever you can get mantra, you can understand the inner meaning of mantra. Inner meaning. So it is written, huh? We used to say, mantra madhye sthitam manaha, manamadhe sthitam mantra. You will have to chant mantra in such a way that you, are, you can get lost in mantra and mantra can get lost in your mind. Follow? Remember, you will have to chant mantra in such a way that you can get lost in mantra and mantra can get lost in your mind. 
this way. This is called success of mantra. That is called Siddha. This way you can get Siddhi. This way. Very typical thing. Very secret thing. That's why Gurudev is a mantra murti. When Gurudev giving me mantra, that means Gurudev himself giving me Krishna. When Gurudev giving me mantra, in the form of mantra, Gurudev giving me Krishna. This is the, this is the right Siddhanta. When Gurudev giving me mantra, in the form of mantra, Gurudev giving me Krishna. But I cannot realize. Because I am immature. Like I, I, one example I gave long ago. One example. Suppose one infant, one a very small boy, father, mother gone from this material world. One example, you can realize. Father, mother gone, leaving the small boy. But they are huge property. Huge property. And if the, if the pleader, I mean they have some legal advisor, no? all rich men they have, you also have, I think. <laughs> Everybody. So, legal advisor, if, if, legal, if legal advisor coming, and with all deeds, all paper of property, and going to hand, hand over to the small boy, four years boy, what he can do? <laughs> what are you going to do? All property, golden ornament, all property, land property. If you are going to take the paper, all the key of this, you know, locker, and going to give to that small boy or four, four boy, what he can do? What, what I can do? Better you can give me some lojan and biscuit. I can enjoy it. So it is more practical to give lojan and biscuit to the small one. He cannot understand. When he can grow maturity, 18 years over, then you can say, oh, property has some meaning. Property has some value. Money has some value. And not before that, a small boy. Similarly, one incident happened. One similar incident happened. In Chaitanya Mahat, all our Guru Bargo, some of them mature devotees, some of them small. I mean the time what, what I am speaking about. Chaitanya Mahat, long ago. Some of our Guru Bhargava, by that time they were matured, and some of them very small, maybe 8 years, 10 years, all they used to come. Santo Maharaj came 10 years, 12 years, very small boy. Our Santo Goswami, very small boy. <laughs> very small boy. He came, that this way our Guru Bhargava. Some Guru Bhargava, I mean small boys, they took, by that time they took Harinam. I am speaking the incident, by that time they already took Harinam. Har Harinam. Harinam Mala. So, they are one day, they have some leisure time. Leisure time means they, they have done seva, or little bit. They are sitting under a tree and uh, discussing. Actually, we heard, we know, we believe that Prabhupada is the eternal parsad of Bhagavan. They, small boys, they're discussing among themselves. He is sure, Prabhupada looking so, we are sure that Prabhupada is eternal parsad of gold. Bhagavan, no doubt in it. But why then, then why we are, we are not getting power? We are doing the same arena what Prabhupada, Prabhupada gave, na? but we are not feeling, we are not feeling, it. we are not, we cannot feel anything. What happens? In the meantime, one mature devotee was going around that place. What discussion going on? No, no, nothing. Oh, oh I can also hear, na, whatever, any, any secret. I can also have my right to hear, na, you are my godmother. Okay. Uh, what discussion? We, actually, we are thinking, Prabhupada is the eternal parsa, the Gauranga. It's you. But we are jau discussing among ourselves. Then why you are not getting power by doing chanting Harinam? What happens? Then then the Harinam taken, uh, we cannot realize. But Prabhupada told Harinam and Hari, all same. When we can do Harinam, we can see Hari. But we cannot see, cannot feel anything. What happens? Then that mature devotee giving this example. Now, be sure that Prabhupada already given Krishna in your hand. In the name of Harinam Mala. Be sure about it. Prabhupada already has given Krishna in your 
hand in the form of Hari Nam, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari, or Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sivasadi, Gaur. It's right. Then why you are not feeling power that I am explaining? Suppose that example, same I give. Suppose you are a very small boy, your father, mother gone, big property. If the lawyer coming and give handing, going to hand over all property and you know, uh, deeds and paper golden on to you, you can real okay. small boys can understand lodge and biscuit, ice cream, they can understand. Similarly. Now you are not matured, but be sure that you are already given Krishna. Already Krishna given to you. But you cannot realize. Because you are you need to grow your maturity. The day you can grow your maturity, then you can feel Prabhupada already given Krishna. Then in course of a chanting, you can meet with Krishna. Many times Prabhupada used to say, remember, don't forget. Many times Prabhupada used to say, don't forget to remember. What is that? Prabhupada used to say, to do Harinam and to meet with Hari all the same. What do you understand? You understand something? To do Harinam and to meet with Krishna, all same, Prabhupada. Now, what kind of Harinam we are doing, or what kind of Harinam Prabhupada means to say? To do Harinam and to meet with Hari, to do Krishna Nam and to meet with Krishna, all same. Because Bhagavan is always present in the form of transcendental sound vibration, that the very preliminary teachings, that the very preliminary teaching Mahaprabhu wanted to give to us, but we don't realize. Mahaprabhu, this teaching is the basic teaching. What Mahaprabhu wanted to say, that when we are doing Harinam, Harikirtan, Harikatha, that is Aprakita Sabda Brahma. Aprakita Sabda Brahma. If you, have, if you are an offender, if you are already an offender, then the Sabda Brahma can bounce from here, can go back. Bounce. But provided there is no offense in your life, Shabda Brahma, infallible, can never come failure. It is a guarantee. It is one kind of stamp given, guarantee given by Naraji Maharaj, given. Narad Bhakti Sutra, a Shandil Bhakti Sutra, both there. It can never, Sadhu Sangha, Harinam, can never failure. Come out failure. If at all failure, for that we are responsible. Because we have insincere, due to our insincerity, due to our previous offense, so many problems are there. That's why Harinam not giving us result. Only and only after going out of anartha, try to remember. Only and only after going out of anartha, Harinam can activate. You are doing SIM, na? mobile SIM active head. <laughs> you are doing active head. So, when all your anartha can go away, then Harinam can show you the power, not before that. So, our basic duty is to come out of anartha. Harikatha, powerful harikatha, like fire, but still cannot, Popa speaking. Like fire, Harikatha going. But he still cannot give any result. If there is already offense in our life, you cannot get result. Be careful. Try to go out of offense, try to go out of anartha or everything. So, now I like to go back to the point. Mahaprabhu took Harinam and, you know, mantra, everything. And now Mahaprabhu coming back from from where? Gaya Dham to Nirachal. After coming back, everybody realize, everybody can feel that Prabhu is sub abnormal. And no, no normal condition, we cannot see. Even Mahaprabhu was the number one teacher of a Sanskrit grammar. Mahaprabhu, usual, as per usual practice, as per usual practice, going to sit to teach your Bakaran. Uh, those students are sitting. Mahaprabhu is going to explain all Dhaturup, Shabdarup, 
and explaining Krishna. The student speaking, previously your discussion was not like that. But today, at present, your discussion is a little bit, we cannot realize what you say. Why? I am speaking wrong? You prove? No, no, actually not that. Actually, the way, at, the way, actually the way at present you are explaining Sanskrit grammar, we cannot make any head and tail. But previously, oh, we heard from you, everything was okay. Because Mahaprabhu now going to expose his secret Leela. Now at present, Mahaprabhu already started exposing. After coming from, from, back from Gaya, Mahaprabhu showing abnormal bab. Always thinking about Krishna, Krishna, and shedding. He himself is Krishna. But going to show us how to get Krishna. Hello? The students cannot understand. Prabhu two or three days sitting. After that, Prabhu took, Prabhu already, uh, Prabhu speaking to them. After two, three, four days, Prabhu coming and explaining, but the student cannot understand. Prabhu say, I am speaking any wrong? Well, not wrong. You are speaking right, but you cannot understand. Every uh, dhatu, dhatu, and uh, you know, shabda, shabda rup dhatu. Every time, Prabhu going to make explanation according to Kishanam. Prabhu going to, any dhatu, he need to explain, but Prabhu going to, uh, going to explain in such a way, so that Krishnam and Krishna Baba can develop. And student cannot understand. This way, finally Prabhu took decision, well, from today, well, Mahaprabhu took decision, okay, and now I think I am not in a position to explain Sanskrit grammar to you. Uh, I don't know what happened to me. So from today, I have taken decision to stop Sanskrit teaching. Then, that time there was no printed book. Plum leaf. Prabhu going to cover up, we cover up the book with a cloth. Now, we, we, we go to some other teachers, they can explain. I cannot explain. I don't know what happened to me. And students started crying. Because they don't want to miss this kind of teacher who very easily can make you understand. Mahaprabhu is the topmost teacher, all infinity world. Who can lose this kind of, you know, opportunity? So te teacher, I mean Mahaprabhu crying and all students, they are all crying. Shedding our tears. Today we are going to lose this kind of teachers. Prabhu blessing them. I bless you all. You can get Krishna Bhakti, which is the ultimate success of life. That I can say. Now I am not in a position. Now I am not in a position to explain Sanskrit grammar. Finally, what happened from that day onward? Sochi Mata is fed up, very anxious, watching the condition of Nimai. Nimai, what happened? I don't know what happened. What happened? I don't know. What happened? Don't know. Shiva's Pandit coming because Shiva's Pandit adjacent. The neighbors. Sochima very anxious, calling Malini and Sivas. What happened? You say, my son, what happened? Then Sivas Pond is watching. Everybody going to apply very costly Ayurvedic oil in the brain of Mahaprabhu. They think it is, a, it is a, some uh, problem of, you know, some problem, mental problem. Everybody thinking, Oh, maybe some mental problem. So better we can apply all Ayurvedic oil, very costly oil, right? And they are throwing all water. Who in the baranda? They are waiting water on the head. Mahaprabhu sitting. All water. Everybody. They are, it is one kind of wonderful thing. Prabhu sitting in the baranda, everybody giving water on Prabhu. Prabhu sitting. After Siva's coming, Siva's watching the condition. Mahaprabhu, sometime asking to Sivas, sometime Mahaprabhu asking to Sivas, Sivas, what do you think? What problem happened with me? Everybody thinking I gone crazy. Do you think so? Everybody think that my uh, my brain not working. What do you think about me? What happened to me? 
Prabhu, I know the case. The reason for why you are you appeared, you are going to expose, started exposing. Ah, now you are right. If I am going to hear wrong Siddhanta from you, immediately I'm, I was supposed to jump into Ganga to leave my body. You are not making wrong Siddhanta. Right you are. Mahapok confess in front of Sivas, not in front of anybody. Sivas, what can be? What do you think? What happened to me? Prabhu, I know. This kind of madness, this kind of madness is expected in our life. We want to become mad in the name of Krishna, but he cannot do. So, it's very unique. Sivas Pandit. After that, with Sivas Pandit and some uh, devotee, Nityananda, Mahapu very secretly taking some decision. At the bank of Ganga, you come, I have some, I have some pain inside my heart. I have some pain inside my heart. I like to speak out. Then some selected devotee reaching Prabhu speaking all about mine. I what happened I know, I don't know. After coming back from Gaya, uh, I only see Krishna all around. I don't like to eat, I don't like to sleep, I do, I like nothing. Only I see watching Krishna all around. What to do? So with devotees, Mahaprabhu planning. But before that, when Mahaprabhu doing Sankirtan inside Sivas Pandit, that day I was speaking, na? Sivas Pandit, at the, in the mandir of Sivas Pandit, there Mahaprabhu used to do Sankirtan Ras, night time, you know, Sankirtan Ras. Then, uh, then the son of Sivas Pandit, gone from the material world, left body. And Sivas Pandit watching, Prabhu is just... Uh, doing Sankirtan, uh, Prabhu is not in normal condition. Prabhu gone to some other world by doing. So Prabhu cannot hear. Uh, Shiva is hearing. Shiva is going running and going inside room. Hey, what happened? He watching the only son, the only son gone from the material world. Shiva speaking, Shiva's point is speaking, well, my Prabhu, Ananta Brahmanda Nayak Bhagavan, he is he is dancing and doing Sankirtan here. Be careful. If he is feeling any disturbance, I can go and jump into Ganga and leave my body. Don't cry. Stop your crying. After Sankirtan is over, you have enough time to cry. And at all, there is no question of crying. Because I like to get the luck of my son. My son going to leave body when Supreme Lord dancing in my mandir. When Supreme Lord dancing in my mandir, that is a golden opportunity. At that time, my son going to leave, leave body. I like to get the luck of my son. I like to leave body. But you are crying? How you are crying? Is the most luckiest personality. That when Mahaprabhu dancing in, uh, in my mandir, at the time he left body, why you are crying? Stop. Then after that, Sankirtan is over. When Sankirtan is al almost over, Mahaprabhu come back to the normal condition and asking, uh, today I am feeling some problem. Something happened in the house of uh, Siva. Oh, no, no, nothing happened. Uh, something happened, I think. Then some devotee is speaking, the only son of Sivas Pandit left body. Ah! The only Prabhu knowing everything, he is super soul, but still drama. Huh? What do you say? The only son of Shiva Pandit left body. They are not speaking to me. He is super soul, knowing everything, one kind of drama. Then after that, with great exclamation, Prabhu speaking, Oh, this kind of devotion they have, they love me so much that even after one Single son only, the only son, gone from the material world, still they are not feeling pain. How I can leave this kind of association? Mapo by chance, speaking out this, how I can leave this kind of association? Then devotees, where from the question of leaving? Then devotees, they are very clever. Oh, maybe Prabhu planning to take sannyas, 
Why? Where from the question of living? By chance it is slip of tongue, Mahaprabhu speaking. How I can leave this kind of devotee who even not care? How the only son gone? Oh my God! How I can leave them, their association? Then immediately devotees, they are shocked by hearing. Oh, that means Prabhu planning to take sannyas. That is the beginning. From tomorrow I can explain how he took sanya, why he is going to take shelter of, you know, Nilachal Dham. After that we can enter into Leela, Nilachal Dham, we can explain. Today time is over. I will have to run there, take bath and fresh, go there. Anyway, so I can explain this sloka. Anurpita charing chirata karunayavatirna kalo samarpata unnata ujjala rasam sabhakti sriyam harihi purata sandara dudikadamba sandipito Sadahidai Kandare Spurutuba Sachinandana Vancha Kalpatur Sikipasindhaj Patitanang Pabana Bhavishna Pyu Namo.